Yeah, I feel good about being back, and uh, you know, the Tigers been good to me, and hopefully, I've been good for the Tigers. You played on, been in almost every role here, Larry, with this organization. Can you talk about how different this is, or is it really not that much different? Well, it's uh, it's where I started, you know, at, at the uh, uh, A ball level, and then, uh, sort of going back. You know, I enjoy coaching. Uh, and in fact, when I first uh, started coaching with the Tigers, Joe McDonald. Uh, was with the Tigers in, and he wanted me to come aboard and try it. And, you know, didn't really know if that's what I wanted to do. You know, I was just through playing. And, uh, you know, when I got out there with the young kids like that and started coaching and working with them, it was like, yeah, I like this. And, uh, and through the years, you know, like you said, I went into being a hitting coach, uh, roving hitting coach, and then I wound up managing again, and then went to the big leagues as a coach. And, and then I scouted, and, and then I you know, went back to Toledo in uh, 2003, and stayed there through 2010. So, uh, like you said, I've been all I've been all the way up and down and, uh, from A ball, Double A, Triple A, scouting, and the big leagues with the Tigers. So I've I've been all over. But uh, this level is you know it's been exciting this spring you know because it's like you were back uh, uh, you know and they have a lot to learn and and. Uh, you know, a little about everything, you know, about the running the bases, about fielding, uh, you know, about hitting, and, it, you know, and it's, uh, there's something to do every day, you know, so to, to me, that makes it, that makes it fun, you know, that's what, that's what you, you know, you, you do this job for, is, and to see a guy get better. We've had the pleasure of having a lot of guys who have, you know, manager's experience, Bill Regan's been here yourself now, um, does that carry extra weight with the young kids coming in, knowing that, you know, these are guys who have been teaching guys at the, at the big league level? Uh, I don't know if it, it affects these guys, because <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of these guys now uh, uh, didn't grow up following the game like we did. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I could have uh, quoted you the New York Yankees starting lineup and what they were hitting throughout the season. And, uh, you know, I've had these kids ask me, did you play in the big league? You know, so, uh, yeah, so they, they just don't follow it quite as much. Uh, and uh, you just got to sort of earn their respect and, and their trust. Was a year off good for you? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed, I, I enjoyed yeah, last year. <laughs> so why'd you come back then? <laughs> uh, well, right before spring training started, I was asking myself that. I was like, are you sure you want to do this? Because uh, I enjoyed chasing the turkeys last year and doing some fishing. But, uh, uh, you know, like like I said, though, once you got to spring training and, and started coaching again, uh, it actually seemed like spring training went by fast. So that was good. Can you tell us a little bit about the team you're going to have here? I mean, obviously, with kids, I know it's development. You, it, it kind of grows as the season goes on. But do you have a feel for what kind of team we'll have here this year? Well, I, you know, on, on paper, uh, I think we're, we're pretty satisfied with the way the team looks right now. Uh, you know, we got a lot of good arms on the club, both starting and in the bullpen. And, uh, uh, you know, real happy with, the, you know, with the, their top side. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, at this level here, if you can keep, keep them consistently in the strike zone, you know, I mean, they're, uh, with these guys here, I mean, they're, they're going to have some games that they go out there and just light it up, you know, and you're thinking, wow, you know, that was pretty good. He could have pitched, you know, probably at triple A or, you know, last night. And then the next time they go out there to start, you know, it's like you need a big nail right. to nail down the plate, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, that's to be expected at this level here, and we try to teach from there. And the idea is that when the middle of the season and at the end of the season, they've made progress and gotten better. And, and we're going to try to, you know, obviously, we're going to try to win along with that. You know, that's a little bit part of development also is teaching them how to win and, and what it takes, uh, you know, to be a winner. <laughs> You talk about shots and Vasquez. I mean, we got what two of the top six prospects in the organization. At least we'll start here with you this year. You know, and, and when we, when you talk of shots, you know, you, you're you're talking a little bit like our pitching staff. You know, I mean, uh, this kid is uh, you know just one year out of high school. He's uh, uh, you know he's got some speed and uh, he's got a little sock in the bat. You know, uh, and there's going to be games that he looks, you know, great out there. And there's going to be some other games where, you know, he's going to look young. And that's just part of the learning curve that you got to go through here. And, uh, and we just, you know, try to, you know, work with him and talk to him and, and, and get him more consistent as the season goes along.